Yo, what's poppin' boys and girls, ladies and gents? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. We got a banger for you all today. We're actually out at abandoned golf course. First time we've ever done this on the channel in 10 years, so I'm, I'm just pumped about it. I've always wanted to go to a little abandoned golf course and go do some fishing, not worry about anybody bothering you. Well, today we're making it happen. And I don't know what to expect, guys. There could be some toads in here. This golf course has been here for a very long time, and I really don't know what to expect. So we're gonna go out there today, throw around some big fish baits, try to catch some big bass, and just all on out, have a good time. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Let's go ahead and hop into this one. Cody's about to bring up the drone here in a moment, and we're kinda gonna scout out the area, see where all the ponds are, and then go walk around, try to catch some big fish. So let's hop into it. What you doing, Cody Bob? I'm gonna take this drone up so that we can kinda see what the layout of this place is, and figure out which pond we want to go to first. The drone, uh, drone brings an advantage in this, in situations like this. See, there's a guy right there. I don't know what he's doing, so let's check him out. Looks like he's doing a little fishing. You doing some fishing? Yeah. He's looking at us, look. But our first bait we're going to be tying on today is this Red Eye Shad by Strike King. Beautiful natural color. It's got green on the back. It's got white on the body. Caught a lot of good fish on this bait this year. So I think that's going to be one of the go-tos today. We're really just going to be chunking and winding. I don't think I'm going to throw any bottom baits today. Really just going to be focusing on throwing certain baits to catch some big fish. Which, you know, this bait right here has caught some toads for me in the past. The trap is just... It's one of my go-tos. So we got that bad boy on right there. That's gonna be our first rod. I got this on the kicking combo. If you guys wanna get a discount on any of the baits or rods that I use, I have the discount codes and links in the description box down below. We gotta have a chowder donk today, especially fishing these golf course ponds. Gotta make it happen. So that's kind of the game plan. Boom. There we go, boys. Those are the two combos we're bringing down. I'm not bringing down another one, just two rods, two reels, and two different baits, baby. So let's go ahead and get this thing rolling. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Huh? <laughs> that was you pulling up out there. <laughs> Having any luck so far? <clears throat> yeah. Hey, I'm retired and I just get out of here to have a little fun. Yeah, right. there you go. Yeah. I tell you what, there's some big bass in this place. Which one's got the bass in it? Well, this one has got him. I hooked one a while ago. I mean, it, it you know, he took my line, you know, broke my line and Oh, wow. My, uh, I had oh, a swim, wow. swim bait I was using and it, I mean, it, it took it in no time. Really? Right? Every one of these ponds, they're full of bass and a, and they're full of bluegill. Really? Right? I mean, they got bluegill. Big ones. Yeah. I mean, I, I bring my, I got a nine-year-old grandson, which watches you all the time. Does he? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. And Oh, yeah, you got one running with you? <laughs> oh, man. He come off. Oh, no, you don't. Is it a bass or a bluegill? That's a little bluegill. So what was he telling us now? Oh, not, oh my gosh. Dude, he just had a huge bass try to eat it right there. He, did, he ate was, it, didn't he? Yeah, that was the same thing over here. I had the same thing over here. A big bass tried to get it. Look, watch. He? He's right there. He's... Okay. Yeah, they. Uh, you'll see these bass right around, right around this. Oh, he got it. He got it. Oh my gosh, dude! As soon as it hit the water. Yeah, dude, he was just sitting there. <laughs> dude, he just ate his bluegill right off of it. It's good talking to you. Talking we gonna to go you. give it a shot. I'm sure you we'll know, see you luck. here. Thank you. Yeah, you too. <laughs> <laughs> like I say, I'm gonna be fishing with a little bluegill. You fish with a bass. <laughs> yeah. You have a good one. All right. I'm sure, we'll see you in a little bit. Beaming. This is like. Holy cow. That was a mega, mega dude. Mega. I can't believe he came off, dude. That fish hit me so dang hard. He loaded up on it so good that I, I couldn't turn him. God. That was a big fish, man. That was a big boy. What struggle were we running into this morning? Well, guys, you know, we went to two ponds. One of them was really shallow. The other one, they're just hard to fish because they're so overgrown. Like I said, this is an abandoned golf course. And as you guys can tell down here, look at this. If you guys look down here, I mean, it, I just 
don't even understand how it can get this crazy. But we were really trying to find another spot to fish, but it's kind of difficult. I would have never thought I would have came to an abandoned golf course where nobody's at and just have not caught a fish yet. I cast my whole dang spool out. Dude, one just boiled right next yeah, to me. Oh. He ain't a big one. Ah! <laughs> Dude, that's the skinniest bass. Okay. Well, we did it, boys. We went through a crazy maze. We finally got our first fish. Got our first little bassy. He ain't big. He's dark from living in that grass, though. Hey, you gotta start somewhere, right? And I don't have a choice but to toss this guy. That's what I'm worried, Cody. If I hooked one that's like over five pounds, I don't know how I would get him over here. See you, buddy. Money. <laughs> I have to fish so weird today, man. We're just gonna make everything so dr dramatic today. Oh my gosh, there's a ton of bait. Yeah. Ton of bait popping. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I told you we're gonna make it dramatic. I feel like this pond's good. Like, I, some about it, it just seems like some sauce, dude. It really does. I don't care, and it's a monster. My GoPro just has randomly decided to turn off, bro. It's all good. I got you. I got like a four, so like a four pounder. Did you see me contemplate the hook set? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. We did it, boy. That's how we get it started, baby. Look how you ate it. Barely had that sucker. <laughs> yeah, dude. I I was like, wait, did I turn my GoPro on? I looked down. She wasn't flashing. And I and I just watched my chatterbait going to the left. I'm like, that's not what you're supposed to do on a chatter dunk, but I just wanted to get that GoPro a shot. At least you were rolling. That's a good one. He's not quite four, um, but he's a three. Three something. Yeah. We can we can take our guesses. You wanna take our guesses? Yeah. I say three point six. Alright, we got her zeroed out. All right, three, five, seven. That's what, that's what my guess is. Three point six. Oh, what was my guess? Three point six. Nice. <laughs> Guys, I hate doing this, but I have to. I don't have a choice where we're at. I gotta toss them. I hate it, but we gotta do it. Uh. Swam off. Yeah. Let's go, buddy. Let's there get it, go. dude. Took us a second, but we, we had to refocus. We had to go through the maze, go through the forest. Now we're over here catching bass. Well, we just got some lunch. We had to make a little stop. You guys don't know anything about your boy and Cody. What do we love, Cody? We love some chicken wings. Some wings. So we had to go stop. We got some good wings. What'd you get? We got some lemon pepper parmesan, some buffalo, and then you Spicy got some like, honey peach. spicy honey pea with some good wings. They're fire. But this is what we ran into. We we're eating in there. All of a sudden, we just hear it as loud as can be in there, and it was just dumping. It just finally started letting off a little bit. But it's going to be raining like the next six hours until it gets dark. And so we're kind of screwed right now. So what we're going to do is we're driving home. We got about an hour, hour and a half drive back home. And then tomorrow we're gonna catch you guys in the morning and we're gonna hit some of these other ponds. I can't believe we got our butt kicked how we did at that golf course. When you think of an abandoned golf course, you think, man, nobody's fishing that place. Those fish are active, they should be eaten. But we fished almost every pond in there and barely had any bites. It was just crazy, man, crazy to me. But we'll catch you guys tomorrow with some good fish. Let's run it. All right, we are back the next morning, bright and early. We're at this beautiful pond, a ton of fog this morning. It's just. So nice, I think the fish are gonna bite. You know, we had a tough day yesterday. We fished that abandoned golf course. We drove an hour, hour and a half out there 
and caught one fish and then just got dumped on and had to drive an hour and a half back and that was depressing so today we got to catch some big ones we got to make it happen we got to land some good fish and i think we're gonna do so what do you think cody oh yeah things don't happen it. it's looking good there's been a there's been like three or four boils since we pulled up here and what i realized about this pond is i usually don't come out here and catch them good unless i come out and i see them kind of boiling and chasing bait so either early in the morning late in the afternoon is prime for this place so we're gonna go ahead and get started i'm gonna throw this chatter donk like we were throwing yesterday i think we can get some good fish on it and uh let's get it started Dude, they were boiling when we pulled up. Yeah. It's like they just stopped. That's a good one. God, he's fighting good. Good two pounder. Healthy. He's barely hooked too, dude. <laughs> Let's go, man. Let's go. Took us a second to get that bite, but pretty fish, almost two pounder. It's probably a high one, thick body, big mouth, small tail. We got to start somewhere today. It's a good little fish right there. Let's get it, brother. Give me a little knuckle touch, a little Here corner. Bow. Nice. Dude, he hit it and just started running. I thought he was really big. I was like, man, I got a four pounder already. Well, guys, we just got to our third pond today, our second one. We didn't even have a dang bite. I don't know what's up with the pond fishing these last few days, but it's been tough. You know, the weather's been so weird. It's been iffy with the rain. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but it's just been so tough. You know, I haven't pond fished a lot the last three months, and I know a lot of you guys love the pond fishing videos, so it's like, I'm trying to bring them back, so it's gonna take me a second to figure out new places and do that whole deal, but it just has not been it the last few days. But I think we're gonna get into some on this pond, so. Cover a lot of water. I think we'll be able to get a big one. Gosh, that's a good one. There we go, boys. I can't tell how big he is. He feels huge. I ain't even that big. I something hooked weird. <laughs> yeah, he ain't even that big. It's like a little one and a half pounder. That, that sucker felt big. I think it's the way I had him hooked in the mouth. Pretty bass though. Fat and chunky, almost looks identical to that first one I caught today. Yeah. Very similar fish. Well, there we go. First fish of this pond. It's a good sign. Only been here for about 10, 15 minutes. Let's get it. Give me some, brother. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> Little guy. Dude, that was the craziest bite on a chowder donk I've had in a while. That was like, I felt him hit it, and then all of a sudden I didn't feel anything, and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna hook set anyways. This little tiny dude on the chowder donk. You don't see that often. Usually the chowder donk's catching some tanks, but hey, we got us another one. Thank you, baby. Ah. Oh. Jeez, dude. That's a decent one, man. Ate it like a dang top water. That was dope. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention, dude. I just heard him hit it. There we go. Not a big fish by any means, but that was a cool bite. A little rage crawl top water action. You gotta love that. There we go. All right, man. We're about to. 
Oh, you. Oh, you're such a turd. You got dirt all in my eyes, bro. Oh. Why can't I just have a normal day, bro? There he goes. Oh. Dude, you got dirt all in my eye, bro. Like straight mud shot. Oh, that was horrible. I never got like sand in my eyes like that. Bro, why are these fish so disrespectful, bro? Dude, he just straight up disrespected you. <sighs> I don't care about the mud, it just got me in my eyes. I'm gonna reel it at the top, you should eat it. Come on, baby. Oh, oh. Dude, there's so many behind it right there. That was, that was more than one fish. <laughs> this fish making me go crazy bro come on just eat it right here oh why tell me why dude slamming that joker How did they miss it that many times, dude? I mean, he can precisely fling some mud into my eyes, you know? Yeah. Yes! This fish is fighting hard too, bro. That was dope. That was dope. Yeah, that's not a bad one. That's the thick boy, bro. Oh, thicky boy. Now we're making it work, boys. I like this. That's a good fish. Thank you, buddy. That was fun. Let's keep it going, dude. I think we can catch more like that. They're slick. Oh, dude, I just reeled it away from them. They're like on this grass edge, bro. Oh, they're like loaded on this grass edge. So many fish. All right, now, now this is what we've been waiting for. It's been a long two days. So what we need. Oh. You saw that? Left, yeah. yeah. Here we go. Come on, baby. Dude. All right. We've had a tough two days, but this is the bite. This is the bite, dog. You have that tough of a day, bro, or the last two days, and then you start catching them on top water like that. Not really top water, but a little. Oh, dude, don't do this again. I should have thrown them in better. I only got one crawl, too. I've been lucky to save this one crawl. Dude, if he flicks mud in my eyes, I deserve it. I shouldn't have thrown him like that. I should have tossed him in. Dude, you were such a turd, bro. Dude, what? You, you are such a turd. Look. Oh, he sprayed you, dude. It's all over you. It's on you. Do we deserve this? Your neck. Is it all over me? Dude, get... Dude, I'm fine with this, to be honest with you, bro. I just have to take another shower. Hey, throw him in the water. That Well, the first one came all the way back. Yeah, the first one, literally, I put him like four foot in the water, and he just decided to turn around, hit it in reverse, and spray me. That that one I just deserve. <laughs> Bro, all right. No, I'm not no. <laughs> These fish are tiny. Little twinkie. Thank you, buddy. Don't come back. It just jumps out of the water right at us. Bro, I'm telling you, man, like, we've thrown a lot of baits this year. I always have a bait that I ha is kind of like my go-to. And the Rage Crawl has been a really great bait this year. I think we've caught well, we, that 27-pound bag that we caught this year was on a Rage Crawl. Yeah. Like, the Rage Crawl has caught a lot of big fish. My kayak, PB. What else, Cody? I know it's caught some it's more. My, my biggest your, one this year. Your biggest one this year? 
What else? I, I know we have more than that. I don't know. We caught a bunch of good fish on the rage crawl in the rivers, man. The rivers smoking them. That rage car right there. If you guys want to get a discount on anything I use, by the way, um, I'll have my codes down in the description box. But that sucker catches them, and it's so versatile. Like you guys are seeing it right here. We can work it on the bottom, or we can reel it at the top, or we can reel it, you know, mid water column. Yeah, so. my thing is, is you only brought one out here. You caught what, yeah how many four yeah like four fish and I, I lost a lot they've been smoking it yeah i only have one crawl with me and it's, it's held up too all right boys and girls i think we're gonna end off today's video if you guys enjoyed it hit the like button if you guys are new to the channel hit the subscribe button we had a blast the last few days it just it was tough it was brutal you know we stuck it out and we ended up getting rewarded with some like top order vice towards the end of this one which was awesome but like i said if you guys enjoyed it hit the like button we got some more bank fishing content coming very soon I appreciate the love and support, and I'll catch you all in the next video.